Yo, yo, yo. What's up, Periscope? Hey, this song right here, I'm gonna show you guys how to rock Periscope, but this is a really good song. D1, the Christian rapper. This is what I listened to this morning when I worked out. This is I'm a Christian. I think it's not what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. It was, man, it's really nice. This EP is dope. Like, I, I listened to the EP the entire time I worked out this morning. Yo, 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 what's up, Becky? Hey, Becky, I actually jumped in uh, Kev's broadcast, but I couldn't hear. So I jumped out and started my own. About being bullied or something. So um, so it came off the side of my car, guys. My car wash guys got it off, so it's all good. What's happening? Um, hey, Josh Greenbam, what's up, my man? Hey, Josh is, I love Josh. If you guys aren't following Josh, which I'm sure you are, he's on here. Josh is awesome. Uh, you know, I told you guys I met some. I met a lot of your favorite broadcasts at the Periscope Summit. Some of them you talk to, and they're like, "That's not the same person I see online." And then some of them, it's like, "Hey, it's just like I'm watching his broadcast." Josh is one of the guys. It's just like you're watching his broadcast. So he keeps it real. Um, he and his girlfriend were great. Love him. Hey, what's up, Brian? What's happening, my man? Hey, Brian, how cool was that? That uh, that we broke the um. We broke the $5 iPhone from T-Mobile right here at Scott Scott Nation, scottwilliams.tv. Hey, what's up from Kazakhstan? Hey, what was that, that movie about Kazakhstan? Was it Borat? How old am I? How old am I? I'm 42. I'm 42. And I'm listening to D1 right now. Yeah, John is awesome. Josh's sister is cool. Yes, I met Josh's sister. Great. Brian Warzel is awesome. Hey, Corey, we need to talk. Borat. Hey, honestly, true story. Let me tell you about Borat. So my boss, when I was at Life Church, he took me to watch Borat uh, in, um, he took me to watch, uh, would you mind hitting those drip things? Because it'll go on the side of my, spray that thing out because underneath the mirror, because it'll go straight on the side of my car as soon as I pull off. Would you blow it or whatever? Thank you. Like it just puts a big streak under it. Borat was crazy. Um, yeah, so like we went and watched it with my boss and while I was in Phoenix at a Phoenix campus. If like if we were in Oklahoma, we probably would have left and went like it was so uncomfortable. Like we were going to leave, but we were already there in Phoenix. We were in Phoenix at a movie theater, actually, when we had a campus in Mesa. We went and watched it like, oh, no. So, uh, yeah, Borat needs help. It's really just the mirror. It's just the mirror part. <laughs> you ain't got to blow the whole thing. Thank you, Ed. Because it just goes straight on the side door. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, so that was that's the deal. So, um, these guys are awesome in the car wash. Last night, did you show the moon? No, I don't, su I'm, I don't support Bill or Hillary. I mean, they're great. I'm a Republican. I was a delegate at the Republican National Convention. I'm straight. I don't know who I'm supporting yet. I'm still... Uh, I'm still, uh, I'm still going. I'm still, uh, I'm still evaluating. I'm frozen. If it's frozen, if it's good connection, give me a one. If it's bad connection, give me a two. I, you know what? My Bill Clinton was horrible last night, but I will say this: at the Periscope Summit, at the Periscope Summit, my Bill Clinton was like, it was the best one that I've done. And so I, I can't really top that. So I'm going to work on some new. Uh, I'm going to work on some new impersonations. You guys give me something to work on. You know what? Here's the thing. It, whether it's no Trump for you or not, I'm just going to be honest. I said originally it was going to be Jeb Bush and somebody. I'm just telling you guys, yeah, the scuff came off. You are fooling yourself if you don't think that um, Trump is probably going to win. I'm telling you. I'm Like, it's... Uh, like, it's here's what Trump is showing. This is what I love. There's a couple of things that Trump has done that I like. Let me tell you what I like. Number one, he doesn't apologize for things that he doesn't really feel apologetic about. That's politics number one. You always apologize even if you don't want to apologize. That's the first thing. Like, everybody, I'm sorry. What I said was whatever. It was taken out of context. No, you said what you felt, but now you're apologizing because it's hurting your numbers. He doesn't apologize. That's the one thing that I love that he's done. Number two. 
is he saying things that um, that people, and we're going to get to how to rock Periscope. I know that's not this about. The second thing is that he's making people know that why you can say what you honestly feel and, and people are actually okay with it. Your poll numbers don't go down. Who would have thought? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, boom. Like, that's the deal. Like, wow. And the poll numbers are showing it. So that's number two. And the other thing that he said is that he said, you know what? If I don't win the president thing, I'll go back to my real job. I love my job. He already has a job that he loves. Everybody else, like, this is their penultimate nexus. Like, they want to become president. Like, that's it. He's like, okay, I'll go back to being a billionaire and doing my job. So anyway, I just, I love those things that he's done. Do I believe that he's a racist? No. Do I believe that he says stupid things and that he's been a little bit uh, removed from stuff because he's a billionaire? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the deal. And so I don't know that he's out of touch. I think that, you know, here's the, it will be interesting. I will tell you this. Ben Carson, I want to love Ben Carson. I think Ben Carson is brilliant, but I'm sorry, guys. He's got, like, that monotone thing is not going to work. Like, can can somebody get me in touch with Carson's campaign, please? And I can work with him on something because that's not going to work. I get you're brilliant, but you're the president. We don't need you to sit there and chill and be brilliant. We don't need you to do surgery. We don't need you to be a surgeon right now. We need you to be the leader of the nation. And this little like, well, guys, my thoughts are this and that. That's not going to work. I'm sorry. You know, like, yes, let him be the Surgeon General. Let him be, you know, and here's the deal. There's a good chance that he'll be appointed by Trump or whoever to do some of those things. But whatever, yeah, you can't do that. Like, I want to love Ben Carson. I think he's got high ethics. I think he's a really great guy, but that's not going to work. It's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, I get it.